guys, what's up? It's your girl Lisa. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here and if you are not new, welcome back. L W L U U L. Alright, guys, and if you're not sure what L W L is, that's just the fraternity here on my YouTube channel. And to be a part of that, you need to thumbs up this video and hit that subscribe. Not only do you want to subscribe, but you need to hit the notification so you know when your girl uploads because it can be any given time, any given day, or hour, week, month, year. You never know. So if you want to keep up with me, just make sure that you subscribe and hit that button. So, guys, I wanted to bring to you today a review slash demo of a product that was sent to me. And this is my first time actually reviewing makeup brushes. Makeup brushes are essential in your makeup application. So, I mean, there's nothing like a good brush to just put it all together, girlfriend or boyfriend. Whatever. I don't judge. No judge zone here so okay okay so this is not a sponsored video it was a video where i was sent a product and i am to give my honest review and if you guys been rolling with me for a while you know that i'm just going to bring it to you real 100 for real though because my coins are unlimited and my coins are special and i'm gonna treat yours the same way i'm not going to bring you junk and y'all better not bring me no junk I'm just saying. So anyway, let's just roll right into this. This is the Malika Joffrin Professional Brush Kit. And I hope I'm saying her name right. But this is a beautiful, um, this is the way the kit comes in this case here. It is vegan free, so it's like a faux leather, okay? And the brushes are synthetic, so they are animal friendly or animal cruelty free or whatever. Like if you don't want a little baby, baby beaver to get hurt, then these are the brushes for you. If you don't care, they're still the brushes for you because it is what it is, right? All right, so this kit comes with 10 brushes and as you can see, mine are still dirty because I've been using them the past few days since I got them. Um, you wanna stay tuned for the demo. It will show you me going through my everyday process of doing my makeup and using these brushes and to see if they are really um, what they claim to be. A little bit of background on Malika Joffrin. She is a celebrity makeup artist, international at that, and she's been doing her thing for quite some time. So she came out with the makeup brush line and um, she sells it strictly from what I understand. It's on Amazon and Malika, I'm going to, um, she has a YouTube channel as well. So I'm going to link everything in the description box. Make sure that you check below where to buy them, to check out her and her social media sites. And yeah, so let's get into the, all of this goodness. So in the kit comes with this beautiful little pamphlet leaflet that tells you what each brush is for. And I love that. That's one of the pros of this kit. And also on each brush, you will see that it will tell you the number of the brush and exactly what it's used for. Each brush is actually like multi-purpose. So you can use it on different areas of your face. You don't have to be limited just to what the brush states, okay? Because it can be used any way you like to use it. You know, I, I'm living my life with no limits. I don't want to be confined to you telling me what type of my brush should be. If I want to take a powder brush and put lipstick on, then I should be able to do that. It ain't going to come out right, but I should be able to do that. Okay, okay. All right, Lisa. Bring it back. All right, so. Uh, it states that these are excellent everyday essentials. Um, okay. It's. Also, they also claim to be the best tools for contouring, highlighting, and blending. They claim that the brushes are soft and they easily glide on your face. Okay, and it says you can obtain the look that you desire by using these brushes um, for a precise application. So, okay. Now, I will say that the brushes are extremely soft. I had no problem with them. The texture is awesome. Let me just take one out prior to me getting into this demo. Um, so this is the brush, very soft. It's like really, 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 really soft. And they did pick up a lot of product. The brushes were easy to use, very glidable. Um, so that is true. I, the only con that I see in this brush kit is that they don't have every everyday essential. And what I mean is you will see me using 
brushes like to complete my entire face I use lip brushes I use um, eyebrow brushes I use um, certain brushes for my concealer that they didn't have in this kit or the ones that they are deeming concealer brushes I just didn't feel like it was for me because they were a little bit too big to get as close to my brows that I wanted like so that's what I mean by that but besides that I'm not gonna talk about what they don't have I'm just I wanted to make that point as being a con because if you're new to makeup or you want to start off and you don't want to have to buy multiple kits um just want you to know that these are basically for me they seem to be just face brushes like they weren't sm any small brushes in here to tell you the truth so i mean the smallest brush is this little pencil brush which you can navigate but i don't like to like if i pick a look for the day my brushes are going to be multi-purpose but i'm not going to use the same brush for a concealer and then use it for my eyeshadow if you get what I'm saying so that was just the only downside and um, I'm not exactly sure if she has additional brushes that are not in the kit but again everything's going to be linked below for you to check out because overall I give this a eight and a half and I say eight and a half because it didn't have all the everyday essentials and I would encourage you guys if you're just starting out or if you're looking for affordable brushes they retail at the time of this recording for $29 um, from Amazon and I do absolutely love the fact that it comes in this brush holder like it's so sleek and so easy to just grab it and go and also easy to find your brushes as opposed to having them land in a makeup bag or you know just having to shuffle through so that's a plus and uh, guys again eight and a half overall make sure that you stay tuned for the demo to see how they were in action mm-hmm and your girl is signing off over and out because I got things to do so I thank y'all so, so much for watching. Make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you thumbs up the video and holla at your girl. Drop me a note in the comments or something. Only positivity lives here, okay, y'all? Because if I get one negative, I do clap back and I will delete you and block you because that's how we roll here. All right, guys. Thank y'all so much for watching. Be blessed and most importantly, be a blessing. Smooches. All right, guys, so as usual, I start with my brows. So I'm just going ahead and I am putting my moisturizer and my base on my face. I'm not going to list any of the products in the video. I'm going to list them in the description box. So if you are interested, I just want to make this video basically about the brushes themselves. I am applying my brows, or should I say I'm filling and shading in my brows with my brow pencil. And this is the first brush that I am not using that's of the um that's not in the kit. This is my concealer brush and I really really needed this brush because it's small and it gets as close as possible to my brows, you know, without destroying them. So I didn't feel comfortable with any other brushes that were in the kit, which is why you see me using this one. And basically the brushes that I use that are not in the kit were pretty much for my brows. Right there, I'm just taking my finger and blending that out. And this is my second brush that is my own personal brush. It is a flat angled brush and that is going to help me fill in my brows a little further with powder and also to blend it out. There was not a brush in the kit that was of this size. And again, that's my concealer brush that I use. So now I'm just taking this spoolie, which is not included. This is brush number three, or should I say tool number three that I'm using. So let's get into this. This is the Face Stipple Concealer. This is one of the brushes. And I am applying my eye primer with the brush, with the brush and I'm blending it out. And it's effortlessly picking up the product and going on my eyelid and that product is a cream base so the fact that it picked up so easily was awesome now I'm going to go in with this eye and face blender 
and I'm gonna put some shadow on my crease and you guys I was so shocked to see how much product it picked up I literally just swiped it twice so I'm gonna go ahead and apply that color to my crease and blend it out Now we're moving into this eye pencil. Um, this is the KP10. They all have numbers as well. But this one, again, you can see how much product is on it. It's a little different for me using a brush like this to apply a shadow to my eyelid. But um, it's doing the job. And I wanted to apply this shadow in layers because I want it to really pop. So I'm going to build the shadow in layers. And again, the brush is picking up so much product that I don't really have to build up too much. Right there, I'm just going in with a pencil to apply liner to my upper lids. And I'm going to grab that same brush that I did my brows with. And I'm just going to straighten out my line as well as add a little bit of powder to that line. Or should I say eyeshadow to um, set the, the liner. Guys, now I'm going into the Buff Blender brush, the Iron Face. And I'm just creating a little bit of dimension by adding the darker color and the crease and blending that out. Okay, so now I'm going to go into the Face Conceal and Blend brush. And as I normally do, I add a little dark circle um, concealer underneath my eyes. And I usually just blend that out with my fingers. And I take the brush and further blend it out. So that's what I'm doing with that brush. And it's working effortlessly. So for my foundation, I'm using the Face Air brush and I'm going to stipple my foundation on first and then I'm going to blend it. So I always love using brushes for foundation. I'm not a big beauty blender girl. Uh, I just feel like I have so much more control and I don't lose product when I, you know, use a brush. And these flat kabuki brushes are like awesome for that. So right there, I'm just blending it out. Now to the Face Contour Foundation Brush. It has a little angle. It's a flat kabuki with an angle. And I'm just going to apply some um, contour to my the hollows of my cheeks. I don't want to do juice too much. This is just a normal, everyday kind of look for me. So I'm just going to lightly apply that and blend it out. And just moving on to my mascara. Um, again, a regular, normal day for me. No lashes. I'm just going to plump my lashes up that I already have. And this is my favorite mascara, y'all. Make sure that you guys check the description box for links to the products that I use. And now I'm just going to smoke out my bottom line, uh, my bottom lash line. And uh, again, that's my own personal brush. Okay, so now I'm going to the blush and bronze foundation brush and I'm just going to apply some um, blush right to the apples on my cheeks very lightly and I'm just blending it out. Now I'm going to the eye and face concealer brush and guys this brush feels so great. It's like a little um, tapered brush so I'm just going to apply my highlight with that brush. And I'm just doing the my nose, the tip of my nose, and my cheekbones. I'm highlighting, and who? I mean, the heavens can see this highlighter, so which I'm usually okay with. But I'm going to blend it out. I'm going to also take this face powder brush and blend some more. And I always love to give a pop of gold in my inner tear duct. That is my own personal brush because I could not 
you know there was none in the kit that would be that that small but you can use that um, pencil brush and you'll see me do that in a little bit which is that one the pencil brush that came with the the brush kit I was able to go in and reinforce that Now guys, I'm just going to be a little bit bold today and I'm going to just apply this lipstick. And although I'm feeling this color, y'all, I am going to just kind of tone it down a little bit. And finally, I am using the powder brush just to kind of add some translucent powder to my face in the areas that I normally get oily like really fast. So I'm just going to set my makeup with that. Alright guys, this is my completed look and I'm happy with the look. I'm also happy with how these brushes performed and I hope that you guys try them out. If you're looking for new brushes, you need to switch up a little bit, definitely check out Malika Joffre. And again, the links are all below. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Be blessed, y'all. And again, most importantly, be a blessing. Smooches. Mwah.